Today I'm going to be showing you how I made this shuffle right here in the Shuffles by Pinterest app in a step-by-step -step tutorial. Quick couple of things before we get started. If you're on an iPhone, as of August 2022, you will need to update to iOS 15 in order to use this app. And as of August 2022, this is by invite only, meaning you need a code. If you don't have an invite code, my best advice is to go to TikTok because a lot of people are sharing them on there. So this video is going to be broken down into two parts. The first part being showing you how the app works and unique features of the app and then the second part is going to be me showing you how I actually made the shuffle. So if you just want to know how to make the shuffle make sure to skip to that section of the video. I will have that in YouTube chapters if you hover over the timeline bar. Part one this is how to navigate the app. You'll come to see that the shuffles app and the Pinterest app are heavily intertwined. This is my shuffles profile. As you can see it does link back to your Pinterest and up at the top little heart icon is basically like the heart icon on Instagram. It shows who's recently liked or commented on your posts. Then the leftmost icon at the bottom will take you to essentially a discover page. The default sorts by all recent posts. Since not that many people are on the app right now, there aren't that many posts per minute currently, but I'm sure that will change. They are all still pretty recent as you can see here. If you then swipe over to the trending tab, you can see posts sorted by popular hashtags. I believe the most popular one is my first shuffle in case you're interested in that. You can also follow that hashtag and see who else is also following that hashtag. Then if you go to the For You tab, this is all the posts that Shuffles is recommending for you, obviously. This introduction post is actually one I posted. My hope here is to build a community and just have people introduce themselves and get to know each other. So if you want to get to know some people, I'd highly recommend leaving a comment there. Now moving over to the search bar, there are two types of searches you can do. You can do a user search and you can do a hashtag search. It seems they don't have keyword searches at the moment. Hopefully they'll implement them. So under hashtag trousers, there's only one post and it's one that I created. This is actually a post that I I made so I can save it if I want to to a Pinterest board. Um, I can export it to my phone as an image if I want. I can send the link. And another cool thing is if you click the little cards icon, it will show you all images that were used to make this collage. You can click on the individual images. Some of them will link back to Pinterest if they were used from Pinterest. But if someone just uploaded it to the app directly from their camera roll, then it won't. For part two of this video, let's make a shuffle post together. So click on the middle icon at the bottom of the app and that will bring you back to your profile. And from there, if you hit the little plus button in the top left corner, this is how you make your first shuffle and the rest of your shuffles for that matter. So if you look at the buttons at the bottom of the app, you'll see there's five methods for attaining media. And the first one I'm going to go over is the search bar on the left. So right off the bat, it does give you some suggestions, but of course you can search for things as it is a search bar. Your searches are directly pulled from Pinterest. So these are all photos from Pinterest. They're all very aesthetic. The thing that I personally think is best about this app is the app's ability to find objects in an image and cut them out really precisely actually so you'll see um, I picked a picture of the pumpkins and the app automatically cuts around. Moving on to the middle icon, this is basically where you can grab a bunch of graphics or cute little designs to basically add some spice to your photos. Really simple images uh, if you're into the more aesthetic type vibe. If you're going for more of aesthetic type vibe, this is definitely very useful for that. The clock icon is just content that you've used recently, so this includes your own photos like from your camera roll, the Pinterest photos, the graphics, everything. Then the rightmost icon is the Pinterest icon, so this will take you directly to your Pinterest boards. Almost all of my content is fashion content, so you'll see all of my outfits. My TikTok boards is actually idea pins, which are videos. You won't be able to use videos because Shuffles currently doesn't allow for that, maybe in the future. If you do try to import a video, it will just import as the thumbnail image. And then the camera icon is just photos from my camera roll that I've given Shuffle the ability to access. What I personally like doing is selecting a cute background to start. I select a main color theme, and then I build off that. So I chose a neutral one for this. Obviously I'm adding some text here. There's a couple of options for text. I do have more ideas for this. So Pinterest team, if you're watching this, send me an email. The icon with the three overlapping circles on the bottom right is basically an effects filter for photos is the best way that I can describe it. You'll see what I'm talking about. I personally wouldn't use these for a background because I think they're a bit too distracting from the main theme, but you, like this is where you get creative. If you think it would work for you, you can try it out. As you're seeing here, the middle icon on the right hand side is a drawing tool. So there's three different options. You can draw with a brush, you can draw with a pencil, and you can draw with a highlighter. 
You can also change the thickness of the drawing utensil. And I forgot to show it here, but you can also change the color. So for the next steps, I'm not trying to make it aesthetic yet. Trust me, it's gonna get cute later, but I'm just trying to show you all the tools that you have the option to use. And another way you can alter an image like I'm showing here is I pulled another photo of me wearing a different outfit. You can cut around the image in a shape form and you can expand the shape. You can also use this invert tool to essentially invert. So if you invert the image, then you delete the shape that you filled in. If you go back and uninvert it though, then you keep the shape you selected. Using the eraser and brush tools at the top, you can also get very specific with which parts of the image you wanna keep. So you can erase parts that you don't want. There's also more effects you can add to each individual image that you've added to your shuffle. These are the options in the first tab, which is like the little frame icon. So it's basically just a bunch of different little edits. Both the second and third icons are basically filters that you can add to your image, but it's the fourth icon that I think is really cool. So the icon with the three circles actually allows you to add motion to your images. You'll see there's a bunch of different options. Uh, it can give it some sort of like wavy motion. It'll jiggle back and forth. I think it's really cool. I ended up using it. If you tap on the image you're working with and you press the little plus button at the top, it will duplicate that image. Now that I've showed you most of the shuffle features, here are my tips and strategies that I use to make a very aesthetic image. So I went ahead and deleted the images I had previously cut out because I was really just using them for demonstration. The next thing I like to do is selecting little graphics that match the aesthetic of the background. Another tip, a problem you might run into is things overlapping. So overlapping occurs in the order of which you added the items. So the newest added image is going to be the top layer. If this is a problem for you, something you can do is duplicate the image and then delete the original. And then the duplicated image will then be the top layer. Another tip with this camera image I'm using here it has a little bit of a purpley tint, which is not exactly what I was going for with this collage. So I actually went into the individual image editor and I chose a more warm, beigey toned filter to use on this image and it much better matched the aesthetic of the collage. So I also did the same with the image of the MacBook that I used. I tried a couple of different images. You'll see a lot of this is trial and error. I decided for each of the sections for things that I love, I wanted to have one of the images having some sort of motion so i started with the fashion section since this section was my youtube i also added my handle to my fashion youtube channel another issue that you'll see in a couple seconds i had to deal with was the auto cut editor not selecting the entire image i wanted to cut out so if this happens basically what i do is i allow it to auto select whatever part of the image that i wanted to use and then i went back and auto selected the other part of the image and i just used those two images together obviously this isn't a perfect solution it's not going to work for everything but if there is some space between the objects like in in this image I used you can try it out after I added motion to all the images I wish to add motion to the last thing I did was really just add some finishing touch graphics I kind of went back and decided to delete some of the ones I had initially put in when you are completely done with everything you want to do how you post it is you go into the top right corner of the app and there's a little arrow you click that arrow and that will take you to a section where you add hashtags and a caption Right now, I'm just using very generic hashtags because like I said, the app isn't very saturated at all right now. I'm sure as more people join the app, the hashtags will become more saturated and then my hashtags will become more specific. You can't search my keywords currently, but I don't know exactly what algorithm they're using to rank stuff on the For You page. So I added keywords just in case. That's really all there is to it. You just got to press post after that and you're done. You are able to export this as a video at the end if you want to. If you're interested in more content like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Future videos will be more social media-esque content, um, things I use to make content, that kind of thing. And if you're interested in fashion content, make sure to check out my fashion channel.